Greetings, gunslingers. I'm Chaplain Andrew McIntosh, your wing chaplain, and I hope you're having a wonderful week. I know you're looking forward to this weekend where we get both a well-earned gold day on Friday, followed by Memorial Day. Now, Memorial Day is a very special day for us veterans because we're honoring the lives of those veterans who gave the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. Whereas Veterans Day, we just honor all veterans. Now, as we approach Memorial Day, I'm mindful of all of those people who've told me over these past 23 years, thank you for your service. And when I hear that, I think not only about what I've done, but I think more about what those who've gone before me have done and why our military is so appreciated by our American population today. As I think about those who've gone before us, I'm especially mindful of Medal of Honor recipients, such as Master Sergeant John Chapman. I'm standing outside the Chapman Training Annex for whom it is named. It's a very special part of Lackland Air Force Base, or Joint Base San Antonio Lackland as we now know it, largely because it's the only the second Air Force installation named after an enlisted person, the other one being Scott Air Force Base, Illinois. Now, the story of Master Sergeant Chapman goes back to March 4th, 2002 in Afghanistan as part of Operation Anaconda in the Takur Gar area of Afghanistan. Master Sergeant Chapman was on a helicopter, a Chinook to be specific, with a Navy SEAL team. That Chinook came under extremely heavy fire and in taking that fire it actually lost control slightly and one of the SEAL members fell out of the aircraft. About two miles away the Chinook had to make a crash landing. Upon landing, Tech Sergeant Chapman at that time jumped out of the aircraft and began his trek up the mountain about two miles in order to rescue that Navy SEAL who had fallen out of the aircraft. Approaching that enemy area, he quickly took out one of the major strongholds of the enemy and then exposed himself only about 10 meters away from another enemy stronghold. It's in that open exposure that he began to take on severe fire and there was mortally wounded but despite his wounds, fought back violently in his effort to rescue his fellow servicemen. And it was for that that he was awarded the Medal of Honor that was upgraded from the original Air Force Cross in August of 2018. And according to Air Force policy, was promoted one grade higher on the first day of the following month, September 1st, 2018, to Master Sergeant John Chapman. When I came in the Air Force in 1997, January of 97, a book was published called The Little Blue Book. This book was about our core values, core values which I'm sure you're all too familiar with now. Integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. Some people questioned back then, why do we need this little book? We know these things. Other people wondered if it was in response to some unknown crisis of integrity in our Air Force, but I don't think it was either. Instead, I think it was letting those who were newest to our Air Force know what our core values are, what our, our family values are, the standards by which we live. You see, I believe that we today are living in the legacy of those who've gone before us, and that legacy was firmly entrenched in these core values. The story of Master Sergeant Chapman that took place a few more than five years after that book was published is reflective of that core value of service before self, given the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty for his comrade. So I want to encourage you, as you enjoy this Memorial Day, to think back to those who have gone before us and given that sacrifice. But even more importantly, the next time somebody tells you, thank you for your service, I want you to know that the gratitude they are expressing is not just for the service that you have given our nation, but also for those who have gone before you. Thank you, and God bless.